I don't know. It's looking kind of crazy. Let me do the other side. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, Tesla Owner's Perspective. If it's your first time watching my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy the, con the content. If you're returning, thank you as well. I appreciate that. Uh, I've been gone for about a week. I had to go out of town to handle some stuff. I just got back. And today's video, I wanted to go over a new feature that was added to the user interface where you can change the color of your Tesla because normally um, my Model Y and my Model X uh, on the user interface screen when it shows your Tesla, it's, actually, it's the actual color of the Tesla that you own. But from the new uh, update, you can actually change the color of the Tesla that's on the screen. So I'd like to go over that. And the second thing I'd like to go over is mats. Um, I purchased uh, some 3D Max Piter mats for the interior of the Model X. Uh, I received the uh, front driver side, the front passenger side, and also the rear area for the uh, second and third row. Um, I also ordered the frunk uh, mat and the cargo mat. However, uh, it took them a while to have, to have them delivered, but when I got back, these were waiting for me. You can see it's from the same company, 3D Max Fighter. I'd like to open them, show you what's in the box, and then install them in the car and see what they look like. So in this box, this looks like the frunk. It's got that same material in the back. Um, it's got the 3D Max Piter on here, the emblem. So that's the frunk. That's all that's in there. And this, I'm going to assume, is the cargo. So it's much longer because I'm, I think part of this is going to go on the cargo space and perhaps a part of it's going to go on the back of the third row seats. It also has that same material on it. Uh, it's got some Velcro on here. Not, well, only one piece of Velcro. I'm really not quite sure what that's for. And shipping documents and that's it. So we're gonna throw these boxes to the side. We'll go out to the Model X, uh, we'll install them and see how they look. Okay, so here's the Model X. I've got it uh, prepped for the mat for the cargo area. Um, here's what it looks like. That's what the inside looks like. So I'm gonna put it in and see what it looks like. trying to do it so that I can leave enough room to grab this little hook that opens up the bottom portion, the cargo portion. So it's fitting well on the edges, if you can see here and there. It seems to be fitting well there. And just like when I purchased the uh, mats for the inside of the Model X, these Max Piter mats, you're supposed to lay flat for a little while so that they can sort of um, obviously flatten out. So you can see here, it's not completely flat, but that's because I just took them out of the box and give, didn't give them a chance to flatten out. So this is pretty much what it's gonna look like with the seats 
with the third row seats down. Um, I'm gonna let them stay flat for a little while and then I'm gonna come back and lift the seats up and see what the fold and the bend looks like here. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it looks okay. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop open the frunk and we're gonna insert the frunk uh, cargo mat. So here's the, uh, the frunk mat, just like the other mats. It's got this material on the bottom. And if you look inside the frunk, it has this, this soft liner material as well. So hopefully this will slide right in and attach. And just like the cargo mat, I did not let it lie flat for a little while. So it's got this bend. So I'm gonna put it in and see how it works. So place it in here, it down. So it's got a little bit of a, it's got to settle in here a little. It does have a bend here for this area, just like it does here. You just got to sort of maneuver it a little bit, but all in all, I'd say it looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but if you're trying to protect your frunk, I think it's good. We'll let it sit for a little while, let it stretch out, let it flatten out, and then we'll come back and take another look at it. So let's give it a few minutes. That's the front passenger. Here's the driver's side. Yeah, the mats are really dirty, but they are definitely doing the job they're meant to do. Keeping the carpet clean, not allowing water to be absorbed in the carpet and keeping all the grime and the salt and the dirt that I'm tracking in with my shoes. So Max Piter doing pretty well. Okay, so after about five minutes, this is what the frunk looks like. You can see where it bends here, where it bends here, which is where it's supposed to bend. Um, a little bit of a crease here, but that's okay. A little bit of a crease here and a little bit of a crease there. But all in all, it's not bad looking. Um, it will definitely protect the soft portion that's underneath here. So if you put groceries or if something spills, it should catch. Um, so yes, that's the frunk. I'll show you what the back looks like. Okay, so I just showed you the frunk and now we're at the cargo space area. And this is what the cargo mat looks like after about five minutes or so. And you can see it still hasn't flattened out. Um, Probably not enough time to let it flatten out. But I have it positioned so that it's I can pull up, pull up here. It'll go up, a little storage area. And now I'm going to put up the third row seats and see how this looks, if it will stay attached to the third row seats or if it's going to flop over. I'm not sure. So let's do that. I'm going to move the seats forward. I've already got the, I've got the Falcon wings open already. So I just put this seat forward. I'm going to hit the button on the top here of the third row and bring up that portion there. Hmm. I don't know, it's looking kind of crazy. Let me do the other side. I guess if you're gonna have your third row seats up, you're gonna have to remove this. It looks like a bench. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Um, unless I've got it on backwards. Hang on. So I tried flipping it around. I tried putting this top portion on the bottom and this on top and it's not gonna work. So. If you have a third row, like I do, that goes down, I think all of them do, um, 
when you're lifting up your third row, you're going to have to remove this because uh, it's just not going to fit. But with the third row down, which is normally the way I drive, we, are, we rarely ever have these up because it's usually just the three of us. Um, we have this down. So maybe that's what you should do. Just remove it. If, you're, if you've got extra people in the car, you have to pull this out. Um, if you don't and you have them down, and there you go. This, I will keep you updated to make sure that goes down flat. I'm wondering, maybe, I wonder if they sold just this small portion here. I don't really move things. I mean, I, if I did, I've, I've got another car for that or I would ask a friend who owns a pickup truck to move things. I'm definitely gonna, not gonna move anything in this car. But if you are, you plan to, then this is definitely the mat for you. This may not be the mat for me. I'm gonna, I'll keep it here for a little while, see what it looks like, see how it holds up. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So this portion is great. Lift up for your storage, close it. That's good. Um, this portion, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So maybe in another video, an updated video, I can maybe go over this again. So here's the user interface, which you've seen a million times. And if you look here on the, uh, the, the cluster, you can see the Model X, sort of like a bird's eye view. And it's black, just like the outside of my Model X is. But with this new um, feature that, uh, Tesla came out with, you can actually change the color of your Model X or Model Y, whichever Tesla you're driving, on either your user interface screen or on the side here from if you're driving a Model Y or a Model 3. So in order to change the color, we come in here, and here it is, it's called the Colorizer. And it's in your toy box, and you basically, you click Customize, and you've got a color wheel here, and so it's set to red, and the corner of this box is red and the bottom is black. So the, my car is black, which is why it's right here. And if I just take this square and I move it to the top corner, you're gonna see the color of the Tesla Model X change on the gauge cluster. So there it goes, it's starting to change, it's pink. I'm getting closer to the edge where it's red, the color continues to change. And now it's a bright red Model X. And if you come back to the color wheel and you go to blue, you can change it. It goes from black to sort of that silver, white, and then it goes to that blue color that's on the color wheel. And that's what the Model X would look like. You can continue to customize it. If you just go around the scroll wheel, you can see the different colors of the Tesla Model X and the gauge cluster. You can go from like a banana yellow, um, it goes to orange, to red, a purple color and you continue to go around the wheel it continues to change the color you can see it fade in and out so you can adjust it to the exact color that you would like um, oh look at that color it's like a, an aqua or a teal color um, there's the green the green looks pretty cool uh, but my favorite I think my favorite is that yellow I think that yellow looks really really cool so uh, let's see if we can get a different angle of what the Model X would look like if I go into the drive setting. That's what the hood would look like. If I go into reverse, that's what the back portion would look like. If I go back into park, you can see it here. So that's what the back would look like if it were yellow. And I don't think Tesla offers a yellow. However, if you want to uh, take the uh, wrap uh, way, you can have your car wrapped to any color you like. So we'll go back to customize. We can fade in and out. You can see it on the gauge cluster. The more you move around here, and it's really responsive. It changes color really rapidly, even on the color wheel. Look at that. And if you look here, you can go, you can go matte you can go metallic where it really gets shiny. So here's matte, there's metallic, and then solid. It's very detailed, very detailed. Look at that. 
that's a color I would leave it at. Eh, maybe around, but I'd go with the matte finish. I'd like it just like that. Okay, so that's today's video. Um, those were the Max Spider uh, Frunk Mat and the Max Spider Cargo Mat. Um, I'm still sort of on the fence about the cargo mat because of my third row seats. Um, I guess if I'm going to have, uh, if I'm going to need extra room for carrying extra people, I'm probably going to have to remove that, that mat. So I'll, I'll see what happens with that. The front was fine. I, I don't mind the front at all. It looked pretty cool. Um, I showed you the colorizing color wheel for, uh, customizing the color of your Tesla Model X and your user interface, which is pretty cool. Um, I think maybe Tesla should focus more on paint, like the rust on my car before doing something like that, but whatever. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I appreciate everyone still continuing giving me those big thumbs up. Everyone that's liking my videos, everyone that's leaving comments to my videos, and of course the subscribers, you guys as well. You guys are supporting the channel and, and allowing the channel to grow. So I have an idea for another video. I'll get to it. And on to the next one.